This is Tom Berdakian, and today I'm going over the top 15 supplements, vitamins, and minerals. I'm gonna talk about how you wrap these all up together so you're not having to buy 15 different things. And we're starting now. There are a lot of different treatments for nerve pain. This is my top 15 based on experience, on studies, on evidence, and on things that my patients have had success with. This is my list. There's a million things out there. If I'm missing a study, if I'm missing a supplement, comment down below because I love to hear what's working for people. And I always check out and read these studies and make sure to update these videos as quickly as possible so that we provide you the best info possible. There's gonna be some big secrets at the end. We're gonna wrap it all together so that you have a plan to use as many of these for as low a cost as possible. But first, what is nerve damage and peripheral neuropathy? There is a hundred different documented causes. The most common ones are diabetes, alcoholic neuropathy, but I have a video down below with the most common causes and exactly how to address them. Sometimes the best way to treat your nerve pain is to treat that specific condition. That's not what we're focusing on here. If you want that, that's the video below and make sure to check it out. All of these will have their own video. Definitely check out below as you're watching this for more details. Starting from our brain down to our toes, we have long nerves. From our brain to our toes is the longest distance. That's the most likely chance that you're gonna have nerve damage. That's why people's feet, their toes, or their hands ache from peripheral neuropathy. There's just a lot of distance and a lot less support for those nerves as you get further from your spinal cord and your brain. This leads to numbness, burning, tingling. And in my opinion, this is one of the most commonly misdiagnosed conditions. Some people come into my office despondent, sad, because they've been told they can't cure it. But we pretty much expect a rapid improvement, rapid pain relief, and I'm talking 50 to 75% or more is very achievable. And in my patients, I would say expected. This is my top 15 things. And stick around to the end. I'm gonna show you other tricks that I like to do with all of my patients for excellent results. And we're not selling you anything. This is all free stuff that you can do at home. Starting with number 15, resveratrol. It is a compound found in grapes and other plants. This has been proven to show improvement in nerve function. It also helps with weight loss. It burns a lot of calories. This is normally found in red wine, but studies do show that it's a potent antioxidant and has great nerve health benefits. So that's number 15. Don't worry, you don't have to get this from red wine. It does come in lower cost powders and supplement pills now. I link some of them below. It's great for weight loss. It's popular for weight loss now, but and it has been shown to help with peripheral neuropathy. These are lesser studies, so try this stuff a little bit higher in this list first. Number 14, L-carnosine. This is an amino acid, and it's been shown in studies to reduce pain in people with diabetic neuropathy. It's an antioxidant with anti-inflammatory effects. L-carnosine is now popular as the anti-aging molecule. It is popular now, it's a little bit newer for me. The studies aren't overwhelming, but it has been shown to help with peripheral neuropathy. So if you've tried the ones higher on this list, it's worth a shot. Check out the studies and the links below. Gamma linolenic acid comes from seed oils, and seed oils are generally considered to be inflammatory in the American diet. So get it from flax seeds, from walnuts, check out those foods. Don't go out of your way to buy supplements for this. Just make sure you eat a healthy fat diet. Make sure you try some seeds. So like flax seeds are a good source of this as anti-inflammatory effects and does show to be beneficial for peripheral neuropathy in some studies. Get this one through your diet. Coenzyme Q is now a popular antioxidant. It is fat soluble and it has been shown to be made in the body, but supplementing this can give you additional benefits. So supplements here specifically have been shown for peripheral neuropathy. You can get it from food. You can buy supplements that I do link below. 100 to 200 milligrams per day, but as I mentioned, in studies, super dosing, so up to 1,200 milligrams for up to 12 weeks has been shown to show some peripheral neuropathy benefits. Vitamin E. This is a powerful antioxidant, it's good for heart health, good for arteries. It's a powerful antioxidant, also proven for peripheral neuropathy. It's a fat soluble vitamin. It's in a lot of vegetable oils, leafy green vegetables, a variety of food. 
and vitamin E has been studied for its effects on peripheral neuropathy with great results. Vitamin E is a fat soluble antioxidant and can help with heart health, skin and nerve damage in studies. Supplements can be very beneficial and getting it through diet. Curcumin, this is a compound found in turmeric that has anti-inflammatory properties and has been shown to improve nerve function and reduce pain in people with peripheral neuropathy. I love curcumin and turmeric. I have a whole video on that below, including secrets, how to use it, all the studies. But bottom line is, this is as good as an anti-inflammatory. There's almost no risk. It's a spice you can put in your food. Highly, highly recommended. I love curcumin. This is one I highly recommend taking. It's completely safe. You can take a ton of it. It's low cost. You could buy a huge jar of this stuff, add it to your food, add it to soups, add it to water at the end. As part of fasting, I add it to soup broth and it really helps with my inflammation personally. So check it out. This should be even higher in the list. Omega-3 fish oils. I love omega-3 fish oils. These are amazing. The only downside is they can be pretty expensive. We have a high balance of omega-6 fatty acids, which if too high, of a ratio can cause inflammation. So we have to balance our omega-6s with our omega-3s. Right now in America, people get 25 times as much omega-6 as omega-3. So you gotta lift up that omega-3 to balance it out. Studies show this affects inflammation, including nerves, including your arteries. So omega-3 fatty acids, a lot of great studies, a lot of great results. Omega-3 fatty acids can be supplemented by pill form. Otherwise, you can eat salmon and fish. You want to get EPA and DHA. Check out my videos below because a lot of these supplements scam you. If you're not getting at least 50% EPA and DHA, you're wasting your money and it's actually unhealthy for you. Omega-3 is fantastic. This is a great option that I recommend if you can afford it because it's not the cheapest in the world. Zinc is important in nerve function and a deficiency can contribute to peripheral neuropathy. Zinc is an essential mineral that's required for bodily functions, DNA synthesis, and it's found in meat, seafood, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. So make sure to include that stuff in your diet or supplement it. Zinc is an amazing option, not just for your peripheral neuropathy, but for immune health. It's a cofactor in 300 plus enzymes you got to take 15 to 30 milligrams daily. It comes in a lot of forms. It comes in food, but highly, highly recommend zinc, especially in flu season, us living in Michigan. You can't survive without this, especially with what we've been through with flus and viruses recently. Acetyl L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine is involved in energy production and nerve function. It's especially important to people with diabetic neuropathy. So if you have diabetes and you have nerve pain, studies are great for acetyl L-carnitine. This is one that I do have a little bit of experience with now. Patients use it. I've had a lot of great feedback personally. And what happens is it's involved in the metabolism of fatty acids in your mitochondria. So that's one that's proven. There are some excellent studies on acetyl L-carnitine and the supplement that ends up number one on this list. But basically taking 1.5 to 3 milligrams daily per mouth combined with the one that's number one shown excellent results for peripheral neuropathy and reduction in nerve pain. So strongly consider this one even though it's not the cheapest option. Number six, benfotamine. Benfotamine is an important form of vitamin B1 that has been shown to improve nerve function and reduce pain in diabetic neuropathy. I have a whole video about this, so I'm not gonna get into it here, but highly, highly recommend benfotamine. Basically, you can get this as part of a complex to make it simple, but great studies, check it down below, highly recommend it. Benfotamine is 100 times more effective than B1, which is thymine, because it converts through your stomach and is absorbed better. It's synthetic. It's not found in food, so you have to supplement this one. I'll give you my trick for the B vitamins at the end, but you don't have to buy each of them separately. So check for the summary at the end or watch more about this one specifically below and see my favorites below. Number five, vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 very important for nerve function and deficiency can contribute to peripheral neuropathy. This is known as pyridoxine. It's a water-soluble vitamin, and this is found in meat, fish, poultry, 
whole grains and nuts. Vitamin B6 is an excellent option like the other B vitamins. A lot of studies independently for this one, but as a combination, even better results. So this is one that really shows a difference for peripheral neuropathy. Get it through foods, you know, through your vegetables and through lean healthy meats, skip the processed foods. But if you need to supplement and you have a lot of nerve pain, definitely check it out. So vitamin B12, this is essential for nerve cell health. It's essential for peripheral neuropathy. It's a water soluble vitamin. Sublingual supplements can be very effective. Some people have digestion issues. So even if you're taking it by mouth, you might not digest it. So watch our video if you have peripheral neuropathy. Down on B12, this makes a big difference. I love vitamin B12 and I have a video on whether it's effective to get the shots or not, when to take the pill, when to do the chewable. It can get pretty complicated, but it doesn't have to be. So check that out below. Otherwise, just skip to the end and I'll show you how to take it. Number three in our countdown. This is probably the most important vitamin for everybody to take, but vitamin D. Vitamin D is severely deficient throughout society. So like over 50% of people in America, even more in Northern countries like Canada, some say like 90% deficient. Vitamin D, very important. It's involved in inflammation. Vitamin D is important and proven to relieve peripheral neuropathy if you correct a deficiency. So if you're deficient, this can cause issues. So get that vitamin D. I have a great video about vitamin D, K2, take those together that will potentially help your nerves because the studies are great. Overall, vitamin D is the single most important vitamin, but most people don't get enough. 50 to 90% are deficient. Studies severely underestimate how much we need, especially if you have health conditions like peripheral neuropathy and you need sunlight, but if you're not getting it, you have to get it in a supplement form. And we have a great video below all about vitamin D3 toxicity levels, how much you actually need, and when to combine it with vitamin K2, magnesium, boron, all the other stuff. Check that out below. That's a very important video, one of the best ones we've ever done. I'm gonna call this 2.5 because I forgot it in my initial list, but vitamin C, what a powerful antioxidant. The studies are massive. They help with diabetic neuropathy. Neuropathy in rat studies and mice studies and they help with diabetic foot ulcers, so they help wounds heal quicker. They help with collagen. Red peppers, surprisingly, I didn't know this, but they are number one in vitamin C. Then the usual players, the oranges, the kiwis, broccoli, even tomatoes, cantaloupes. So pretty much any vegetable, you're getting some good vitamin C. In my opinion, you should be able to get it through diet, but it's pretty much worked into all the supplements. So you don't have to get crazy, but 75 to 90 milligrams, but because it's water soluble, super dosing has been suggested as a benefit, but we never tell you to get too crazy unless you're specifically told so. Number two, magnesium. Magnesium plays a role in nerve function and muscle relaxation. This is very important. I love magnesium. It's cheap, it's safe. The studies are unbelievable, very well proven. It's in 300 enzymes. I could talk about it all day, but check out my video on magnesium secrets and why we're all deficient and the big, big conspiracy and why we're lacking it in society. I talk about that in my magnesium secrets video, as well as my specific recommended magnesium supplements down in that video below. Magnesium is so important and so deficient in our bodies across America and across the world. It's part of so many systems in our body. Check out our magnesium secrets video below. There's 20 hour audiobooks written about this. There's a million different supplements. This can be pretty confusing. So check out our video below and check out our recommended products below. But it should be low cost and it should be simple to take once you learn the details. And number one, this is me kind of pulling out my trump card. I love alpha lipoic acid. This is one that's very well proven in studies. And personally, I have patients take it. I have had patient after patient clinic come in and tell me, man, alpha lipoic acid has changed my life. Within like a month or two of taking it, they start to see relief. And what happens is this is an antioxidant. It's found in some foods, but you're not gonna get enough in your diet. This is something that has to be supplemented. 
The studies are phenomenal. Consider alpha lipoic acid if you're having crippling nerve. I am biased because alpha lipoic acid is one that patients have repeatedly told me has made all the difference within a few weeks of taking. The trick though is to avoid the S type and to get the R type. I go over this scam in a video below. It'll help save you money on your alpha lipoic acid and help ensure better results for your nerve damage and pain. I'm gonna talk about how you wrap these all up together it's just so you're not having to buy 15 different things. I wanna talk about some important stuff first. These are the secrets to nerve pain. Secret number one is identify biomechanical compression. Everybody knows about carpal tunnel. If I'm typing, you know, if I'm typing and my wrists are bent up like this, it's gonna strain the nerves in my wrist and my fingers will go numb. It's the same thing with your lower back, your butt, your hamstrings, your ankle, your foot. So we're talking about lower back problems. We're talking about sciatica across your back. We're talking about tarsal tunnel on the inside of your ankle. We're talking about Baxter's nerve on the bottom of the heel. We're talking about Morton's neuroma if the front of your foot hurts and throbs and nothing's getting better. I have videos on all of those, so diagnose it correctly. Biomechanical compressions. If these supplements are not working, consider biomechanical compressions. This is probably the number one contributor that I see in clinic. When I check out people, almost everybody with nerve pain, this is a major component of their pain. So as a podiatrist's office, if you're in the Michigan area, come get checked out or get a biomechanical exam and get assessed or watch those videos for free. Biomechanical overload. So I talked about the compression, but Picture this, if you're 300 pounds, if you're standing on concrete 12 hours a day, you're gonna get numb feet. This is biomechanical overload. And the reason why is we're all tight and stiff somewhere. So if your back's tight, if one hip's tighter than the other, if one knee's tighter than the other, one of those areas will get sore. And what happens is your muscles get bloated, they stretch those nerves and those nerves ache and throb. A lot of patients that come into clinic with me, they don't know what it's like to not be sore anymore. They've been sore so long, so they're convinced they have a nerve disease. But really, their biomechanics are just overloaded, they have sore joints, they have arthritis, and that's making the nerves throb. That's not a nerve disease, that's chronic biomechanical overload. Get checked out by a mechanical specialist or check out those videos down below. And secret number three is new solutions. If you go through all that, or if you see specialists get diagnosed and nothing's working, there are two new things on the market. There are pain medications. I don't like putting people on pills though, but there are treatments you can put on your skin. I have some lists below, but there are a lot of creams that are relatively safe because this does not enter your body. So especially nighttime pain, it might be worth getting some of these creams. Capsaicin especially, is pretty popular. So chili pepper, essentially it overloads your nerves and then your nerves kind of just stop sending signals to your brain is a good way to think about it. But there's a lot of other natural options in these creams. So there's some good options below. Capsaicin is the chili pepper. So there's a lot of products now that you can actually put on a sheet and you leave this on for like 30 minutes or so and we do this in the clinic and it's supposed to give you about three months of relief. So that's something to think about. You can put it on your feet, you can put it on your hands, you can put it on other parts of your body if you have some nerve damage there, something to think about. Another excellent option I think is my final stop. If nothing else is working, this is the way to go. So I've had patients that I've sent for this essentially high frequency stimulation that's the size of a cigarette lighter. It attaches to your back for a seven day trial. Studies are excellent. So really good studies overall, low complication rate, and it's a great alternative to pills. You don't wanna be stuck on pills for the rest of your life. The side effects on this are significantly lower. The studies are excellent. I've reviewed the four studies and highly recommend checking these out. If nothing else is working, try this type of high stimulation treatment for your nerve pain. This works great. I think these implants are very revolutionary. The studies are extremely good. It's controlled by a remote control. There's a seven day trial where you can place it on top of your back. If it doesn't work, not a ton of risk, but it can be a long-term option. And the details on that are below. I'm gonna talk about how you wrap these all up together. 
It's just so you're not having to buy 15 different things. So start with the creams. The creams are safe because they don't have to go into your body. Thus, you're probably not going to get any toxicity. That's probably a good easy start. Lists are below. But then get a biomechanical evaluation. Fix your health issues. Drop weight. Before you try any of these medications, I'm telling you that is overwhelmingly the biggest issues. That's why these supplements and creams don't work. Get your health issues checked out and get a biomechanical exam if you have joint pain. And then look into the supplements and the long-term options. For the supplements, start with magnesium. It's low cost. Links are below. Vitamin D3 and K2 are needed. You can toss vitamin C in there. And then check out the neuropathy combos. The majority of this top 10 is included in an all-in-one pill combination pack. There's a ton of them. Check down below for some of my favorites. Combine that with alpha lipoic acid. And if you're eating, put some curcumin or turmeric on there for anti-inflammatory effects. Those work really well, but always check with your doctor before you take any supplements. If that helped, check out all our nerve treatment videos. Check out our videos on the new treatments emerging right now that can solve your nerve pain. Personally, I get great relief for my patients, so you don't have to live in misery. There are some options out there, even those more advanced options. So there's doctors out there willing to help. If some people have given up on you, don't give up on yourself. There are solutions to reclaim your life. And I'm not saying there's a cure for everything, but I am saying you could get dramatic improvement.